Hello, GSKL, all the members and all the leaders and brothers and sisters. May God bless you today. Have a wonderful service and wonderful Mass in GSKL. And today I'd like to share about the Bible verses. Bible verses is in John, 1st John. 1st John, 1st John chapter 4, 18, verse 18. 1st John chapter 4, verse 18. Okay? So, only one verse. And this verse is so powerful today. I like to remind all of us. Not only you, myself, also remind myself and remind the church, everyone. He's talking about this verse. He's talking about love inside a love that have no fear. And love is wholeness and perfect. Love at love is perfect. And if love perfect, they have no fear inside a love. So he's talking about love and a fear to combine and not combine love and fear is love versus a fear i think this is a as a human being we have a feeling right we have a feeling and we experience that what is feeling about and the feeling that have a uh, worry uh sad happy and a lot of feeling quiet or feeling anxiety and feeling fear feeling fear is the one of the human being we have a lot of this kind of feeling when we are young we growing up and our parents many times they will scare us and tell us something to let us fear so if you have fear then you won't do something. So the parents always use the fear to control the children. And not only that, your boss also use the fear to control you. He say, if, if you not listen to the, your, your boss and next month you don't have the salary, so you have fear, so you're going to, okay, okay, you piss your boss, okay? So maybe a boyfriend, girlfriend, so you can please them, you know? So. Fear is real and fear every time will help us, not help us, to lead us to make a decision, right? So you have love and fear. So what is love about? Love means freedom. Love means we sacrifice. Love, what's that? Please think together, okay? Love is something happy, joyful, uh, something you experience it and you want to share it and do it the out of love so you don't have expectation, okay? And what is love emotion? Peaceful? Love is peace. What kind of feeling if, if you have love? Joyful? Um, happy? You know, we, we talk about love. If love, what is the feeling about love? And fear. What is the feeling about fear? Beside a fear. So feeling about feeling. We're talking about that, you know? Feeling about feeling means that a lot of feeling, like now you are fear. So you want to let your feeling, the fear, the, the feeling of fear, you want it to come out or don't want to come out. You want to control it. So the feeling about feeling will take in charge of that. Okay. Come back of today versus 1 John chapter 4, 18 talk about in love there's no fear in love no fear if you have fear you won't fully experience the love 
No? If you have fear, you cannot experience love fully. So this chapter 4 verse 18 is talking about love and a fear they cannot come together. If you have love, then you have no fear. If you have fear, you have no love. Yep. So this is the verse talking about it. So now we need to think about our life. Think about our life. In the first John, book of first John, John is the writer and remind us every human being we have this love and fear. So what is your decision? You want fear or you want love? Of course everybody will say, of course I want love. Nobody want fear, right? I think this good decision that we make. We want love, not fear, right? Then why the fear always come out? They have one situation that the fears is always come out to control us, to make us to make a decision, yeah? Fear, of course, fear is only the feeling. What you fear and why you fear, this, this sentence, we need to answer it. Because you're afraid of loss, because you want control, or because you have expectation or people have expectation to, towards you or you have an expectation towards other people I think that's very important that fear you know every time we, we sing a song Shalom 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 and we see people we have a Greek and then uh, we say hi and then we say Shalom so Shalom means what? Shalom means safe. In the Bible, they have a definition of Shalom. They have two definitions of Shalom. One is safe. Okay? Safe means, are you safe? Are you Shalom? A lot of people think that Shalom is a peace, right? Peaceful, uh, ping on, peace, right? But they have a meaning behind of the peace. It's called safe. When we have safe place, like a church, like a house, like when you go into your car, you feel safe. Or a place you're going to, you feel safe. Or the people you go along with, then you feel safe. Or the people you talk with, you feel safe. Then, you only can feel love. If you don't have a safe, you will feel what? Fear. So the safe actually we need to deal with and today we need to remind us are we safe? And how we can be safe? And where we can look for a safe. If you have safe, and then slowly we can go into love. Right? If we don't have safe on chin, then it's easily we get a fear, hoi pa, the feeling of fear. So, today, we need a Shalom life. So everybody, turn to your left and right and say a great Shalom. You can ask me Shalom, Shalom. So means you bless that pe pe person, peace with you, and hope you have safe and healthy. It means Shalom. So do it 
left and right, right? Already finished? Left and right and say shalom, shalom, shalom. Yeah? That's wonderful. So we need to ask a question. Where we get a safe? Where we can find a safe? Or maybe safe place? Or feeling of safe? Or who is the person we can feel safe in our life? Who? You think now, you know? Now you are thinking. Which friend? Or looking at the church member now. Which one? You can feel safe when you walk with them, talk with them. Right? We need to ask the question. If this place not safe, what we can do to feel safe? If this group of people or in your office or your friend out of the church, if you not feel comfortable or safe, what you will do to make safe? A lot of people, the first reaction is run away. If I feel not safe, I will run away. This is an automatic one, well, it's normal. It's logic and normal. And we feel not safe, I'm not going to touch. If I feel not safe, I'm not going to do. Is it? Right? Do you remember Jesus? Jesus movement, kingdom culture, is not talking about safe ministry right a lot of disciples to follow jesus do you think they feel safe i think no they feel not safe right do you think jesus himself when he preached a gospel and in this journey he feels safe in his ministry no you know, in 2007, when I started GSKL, do you think I feel safe? No. I won't feel safe. But why? I'm, if I'm not feel safe, why I still doing the ministry? Why I still do and in love? Of course, not fear. Huh? If fear, I, I'd rather stop the ministry. GSK, right? And why I want to do? If we continue to ask a lot of questions, how we can make a safe play, how we can do, I think you will find an answer forever. In the Bible, it tells us safe is in God. You can't find a safe inside of you. You can find a safe outside your body and outside this world. Even the church, even this place, even your house. You think safe? Do you read newspaper? How many um, robbery in the news? Even you're in the car, do you think safe? Even you are driving a big car or um, four-wheel drive sorry you think it's safe? of course not you see this camera also not safe <laughs> yes no nothing is safe in this world just now I put it very safe see not safe do you think your life is safe? Even you have 10 bodyguards? Or... So where we can look for a safe? I think that is very important that we need to face. If we not... Think about this question and real situation... Then it's very hard that we continue to experience love. Because if we not done the safe, then we 
can't experience love. That's why a lot of people come to church many years as a Christian. He still not feel the love. You know, a lot of time I heard a lot of people say, "Oh, nobody care about me in the church." Yeah. What is the behind of the meaning? Nobody care. You're not safe. You not feel safe. Or you not feel comfortable because you not feel belongs in this group or church or place. So you, you don't feel safe. That's why you say nobody love you. Safe. We only can depend on God, not human being, not you, not government, of course, not your partner, not the church even. Church. What? What does meaning of church? Church is a group of the people to building the kingdom of God. And call by God, so you say yes. I call by God. I want to reply. I want to answer God calling. So this group of people, a church. Even though the church won't give you, can't provide you a safe. The safe is only when we look at God. We look at God. We see a point. God look about God. And depend on him. My life depend on God. Dead, when I dead or, or I die or live, depend on God. You know, every time when I fly in an aeroplane, I will think if I die this trip, am I ready? I say yes, I ready. I will always ask Travis about this when I in aeroplane, airplane. Then Travis, if this, you know, if something happen, so how? I I ask Travis, are you ready? I say yes. But he say yes, and he asked me. I say yes, because every day we live like last day. And my life is depend on God, not me. So the safe, the expectation of safe or how to how to fulfill the safe, you cannot fulfill it. Your parents cannot fulfill your safe. Your guard and bodyguard cannot fulfill your safe. Your lock, your house lock, can't mana even, huh? Cannot fulfill your CCTV. Cannot fulfill your safe. Your money, you think money can fulfill your safe? Cannot. I see so many rich people. They don't have safe. The feeling safe? No. They don't have peace. No. So, if outside of you or yourself. Also cannot fulfill the safe way you fulfill. You need to face this question. You need to ask this question. It's on God. At the end, you know God is take charge of life and die and live. So if you believe that, you start the safe. The peace will come in. Not you. You are not the owner of your life, but you the you are the owner of your body. Your body want six pack or you want a one pack, uh, up to you. It's depend on you. But your life is not depend on you. So if the father. If it, it, the basic question about life, date and live the life, it should be 
depend on God. Not you, not your parents, not your teacher, not your pastor, not your church leader. So, we need to think about that. We need to think and ask the question. So, do you want to give this authority and the power to God? Do you want to give it to God? Do you want to depend on God? Do you want to give uh, life, your life, to God? Let God take charge. Let, let God to fulfill your safe. Let God fulfill your need. Then slowly, the feeling of love you feel in you. Then the fear will slowly disappear. Yes. Every day you make a lot of decision. You need to make a lot of lot of decision every day. And you try to think all the decision because of two power to force you to make decision. One is love, one is fear. Why you want to go to work? You can sleep. Why you every morning go work? Is this love? Because of love or because of fear? Because you fear no money, no salary, so you work. Or because of love, I love my job. My job can help a lot of people. My job are so meaningful. So because you love, because you go to work. Oh, I want to treat my parents good. I want to be good son, good girl, right? And because of love or because of fear? You want to, you want to go to, go study, further study, and because of love, you want to learn more and can help yourself and get more knowledge and be more mature or because of fear? If because of fear, if you're not going to study, take more doctorate or master or cert, so nobody will hire you in this society or the business world. So you need to think because of fear or because of love. Before that, the basic is safe. I hope you can understand what I'm saying this sermon. Maybe a little bit hard, but you need to think a lot to their message. Think a lot, safe. If you have safe place, safe people, then you only can feel love. But you cannot depend on people or the place. If you feel safe, depend on God and then the love will come down and then the fear will slowly quiet and then love will have a strong and then love will have a justice and then love will have a joy this is a power this is the movement this is the empower we're talking about I hope you understand I hope you will continue to think about today your life. The fear, the love, and safe. Don't stop thinking about this. Maybe you don't get it and understand today, Simon. But tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, you continue to think and experience it. Then one day you will understand what I'm saying. If you continue the many years you don't feel love then this is the key you need to settle the fear but no no settle the safe then you will start the engine to feel love love yourself love the people love God and love the environment very important 
I pray for God that ask God to bless you, bless every one of you. Hope you are uh, continue to let the Holy Spirit to guide you. Willing to think more about this safe problem or safety issue. Your life is in God's hand not your hand so there one slogan say let go and let God let go a lot of things we need to let go and let God let God take in charge let God take charge so everybody say let go and let God I see you in Chinese New Year I will come back have a wonderful Sunday. Have a wonderful worship service. Amen.